Hi, Clayton. It's Jamie. Um, I have a question about a HELOC. Is it a good idea to try to refinance your home now that interest rates are up to four, five, six percent? My current interest rate is at 2.3 percent, and I do not want to go up in interest rate. Okay, Jamie. So why would you want to refinance? There's a lot of questions I have here. I just maybe maybe you can call back with a and leave us another one eventually. But um, why would you want to refinance to a higher interest rate? Uh, so no, to re if you're planning on doing like a cash out refinance, if that's what you were thinking, I would stay away from that. I mean, that's my personal opinion. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of cash out refinances. But if you're thinking about getting a whole new loan. Remember, if you're going to do a refinance in your house and you're going from a 2 two or 3% interest rate to a 6% interest rate, you're going to basically be doubling your monthly payment just by doing that. On top of that, you have to actually do a whole new loan. So you're going to have to go through a, 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 a closing process and you're going to be paying closing fees. People don't realize this a lot of times. Now, I'm not saying you don't realize this. I'm saying, but people don't realize this. They think that, oh, I'm just going to refi. I'm going to do a refi. Well, what you're doing is you're getting a whole new loan. And what happens when you do that whole new loan is that you pay closing costs. And very often by doing this refinance, you're almost wasting a year of time because in that all those closing costs and all those things that you're paying to get this new loan, uh, you are basically like all of that money could have been used to make just normal yearly payments. Instead, you're sort of resetting the clock a bit. So I'll say if you plan on staying in this house for a long period of time, that's okay. maybe a refi is okay, but still the interest rate conundrum doesn't make sense to me. So a home equity line of credit is a whole different animal. That means you're keeping the current loan you have and you're adding a secondary loan on that property. Now that makes a lot of sense. A home equity line of credit on the equity you have in the property makes a whole lot of sense. And now you can use that at home equity line of credit to go out and invest in other properties. So Jamie, that's what I would be looking at. I, I wouldn't be refinancing. And I'm not a fan of also just cash out refinances where they hand you a check for the difference and the amount because that interest rate then kicks in, starts immediately. They're giving you $100,000, $200,000. Here you go with interest right now. And a home equity line of credit, you get a zero balance when you start. It's like getting a credit card. And you can use it for the like for like 10 years is usually how long HELOCs are open and available. So you can, you know, buy, uh, use that as a down payment and buy $30,000, $40,000 down payment on a property, pay that back down, you're back down to zero. You can rinse and repeat and use it over and over again. With a cash out refinance, they're giving you a check and you're done. That's it. Here's your cash. You There's no revolving line of credit. So... I uh, hope that helps you uh, in this journey. I, I don't have all the information from your question. If I was sitting face to face with you, I would have asked you a few more questions on that. So thank you for that. If you have any questions related to financing, real estate, taxes, uh, motivation, financial freedom, it all doesn't matter. You can go to our website at morrisinvest.com. Click on the little microphone icon and leave us a voicemail message. And of course, while you're there, we have tons of great resources on our website. You can book a call with our team for free. If you're ready to actually buy a full service rental real estate, piece of real estate, that's what our team does. Build brand new construction from the ground up, working with our property management teams, placing a great tenant in the property and cash flowing as part of your rental portfolio. So that's what we do, but we have tons of great blog resources and all sorts of other things on our website. So M-O-R-R-I-S invest.com is the place to go. And we will see you next time, everyone. Take care.